in what has turned into inadvertently a Florida weekend, a Florida themed weekend here at Set of Friends. We did AF2 at Seabring yesterday and we got Daytona this weekend for attempt two at the Daytona 250. It's now round five of the AF1 season six. And I cannot wait. We've got 100 laps ahead of us around the Daytona Oval, the Super Speedway. Let's take you straight into the live broadcast. We're in the middle of practice at the minute, just coming towards the end of it. And we're seeing a, a bit of a mix-up in what we've seen in past races this season. Crab Paulson currently at the top of the times, followed by Andrea Di Noia and Roman Nesh. All, st all, all drivers that seem to struggle or, or had sort of not as good results on the low on the road courses in the top five. Then we get to something a bit more usual. Jack Olivier and Felix are up there. Uh, Rubber Nine is in there as well. Ludwig, that's Ludwig Eriksson. Uh, Lowy is not scheduled to appear today. So it's expected that he will end up dropping out of this championship race and will be down to a race between Felix and maybe Rubber Nine. Let's give you an update on the championship standings. As I say, two rounds left in this season. And currently it is Jack Olivier that leads by by 26 points over Felinix. However, drop races will, com will come into play. Felinix is not expected to drop any points after an 18th place in Cota uh, last week. And Jack Olivier is expected at the minute to drop a fourth place finish. Uh, that's from Watkins Glen, so he is going to lose, uh, let's see, 25 for win, 20 for second place, 60 for third, 13 for fourth. So the gap is actually only 13 points in this championship fight. Lowy is P3 with 54, then Joao Guerra with 52, and Matty Leibach fifth on 40 points. The key here is if you have, tw you need a 26 point gap at the end of this race, sorry, 27 point gap at the end of this race, to be able to be crowned the, the the champion today here at Daytona. Otherwise, it will go to the season finale in two weeks' time at the Indy 250. We've got a series, we've got a double header almost. We've got two 250 mile races in the next three weeks. We've got one today and one in two weeks, the week after the real Indy, two, Indy 500. We, would ne we wouldn't dare try and overshadow that because we would not win. So we've done it a week later. I am incredibly excited for this race. Uh, eventually we'll have Iron Redacted joining me as well um, alongside. Let's take a look at Lucas Weber. Driving for Poor Energy. His best result this season is a 15th place in Watkins Glen. Only take part in two of the four races we've had so far. But he was also here for the first attempt at the Daytona 250. Uh, back a week before we did Sebring. And him and his teammate who's just in front of him, Ali Yardinger. And in fact the guy behind that, which I believe is Jake Wilson. Uh, in, in, in fact it is. All got into a pact together. They shared setups. They decided to team up and practice together to try and get to the front. And guess what? It worked in Daytona until the server went tits up. But now, you can see that team... That uh, alliance is clearly not going away. If we see racing like this today, that's the price of admission. Paid for. Done. Ooh, having a check up there. I think there's a card sort of bouncing a little bit against the wall, but we got away with it there. But yeah, racing like this is exactly what I want to see today. Let's take a look at the F6 cam and see how crazy this is. As Mattia Suriana goes to P2. This will be the last lap, maybe two laps. Oh, Matthew Sillian hit, hitting the wall a little bit there. He's going to drop to the back of this pack. Ali Yardam just checked up. Lucas Weber's had to go to the apron. Oh, I think that was, uh, I think it was, J oh no, Jake Wilson. Whoa, no! Tried to pull into a lane, it didn't work. Almost flipping for Lucas Weber. And he's going to rejoin in the middle of the banking. Collected somebody. I think he's gone through the map. He has gone through the map. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be chaotic later, if we see that. Uh, drop races we have in place. So drop races are like the old-fashioned F F1 races, where it, basically in this league it counts your best five results. So your worst result out of the six gets wiped clean, gets wiped and ignored. 
to actually drop those points. It's mostly to make sure that it, it, it to allow a bit more freedom. So you allow you okay to start another race to, to to miss a race or two here and there, uh, and not be out of yeah, not lose the chance at being in contention for the championship. I explained that so poorly with my terrible English today. Um, yeah, that's, that's that's why we have it. It's come into play hugely very recently in the championship. It has meant... Well, it certainly made the AF3 title very exciting recently. And it made the AF2 title uh, very exciting as well. It made it a lot closer. Um, I would have won the AF2 title in the GT class, the, the drivers, if it weren't for drop scores. Um, and... In AF3, it ended up going to a draw for the driver's title there if it weren't for the drop scores. Blank would have won by nine points otherwise. Instead, it was it had to be on countback. Blank taking four wins to Miles' is three. But there we are. We have our, qualify, our practice done and dusted. Next will be an eight-minute solo qualifying session, which means you get to watch the um, driver tracker for a little bit. Actually, if I can work this right, I might be able to get sort of both. No, I can't. Nah, nah. So there's the times at the top. Andrea De Noy with a 36.2, topping the times, but that will likely be with some slipstream involved. You see a top speed there of 405 kilometers per hour, way above what, like, what we'll see in real life. So this is going to be an even faster race than you'll see in real life. And it'll be just as fast in Indy in two weeks' time. Uh, right, this is the point where I have to sort out the timing screen. to make it work properly. That means I need to go to that. There we go. I need to also do a couple of adjustments. Yeah, sure, this can work. Actually, this can work. Yes. So we're in the solo quality now. Um, while I sort out the... Uh, let's get rid of that. So we go for... Yeah. There, and I want a second tab with the same thing on it. Over on this side, pro streamer right here. There we go. And I also want so I want another one of those on this screen. Can I duplicate, please? Copy. Well, that I just paste. Here we go. Uh, that hasn't worked. <laughs> so, okay, great. That didn't work. Quite, quite clearly, that that didn't work. <laughs> I'll remove that one. Fine. Can I just... Oh, oh, what if I do it in Chrome? I'll do the other one in Chrome. Yes, genius. I'll do the genius move. Here we go. Uh, I need Chrome open for that. Why does it look like I don't have Chrome? There we go, I do. Where are you? And on this side, I can have a new thing with the thing in it that is from Show Me Chrome. Where's G oh. Chrome? Why didn't that work? Ah! Oh, I hate this thing.
That one make it five. Make that one Firefox, please. Why can't they both be... Oh, Jesus. Okay, that's not working. That's not working. I just keep... I just switch occasionally. I just switch occasionally. I give up. This is useless. Just make that full screen. And then you can see all of it. But not well. There. Shrink a bit. Right. Bit more of that. Shrink a bit. There we go. It's about as good as I'm going to get it, I think. There you go. So it's Ali Yardinger and Lucas Weber at Poor Energy 1 2, just as it was in. Uh, at the first attempt. Jake Themes has just gone to P2. It's very close. 4,000. In fact, Lucas, uh, Jake and Lucas have identical times at the top of the table. Uh, so in second and third. Four, set, four thousandths of a second instead of separates the top three. I promise you they will not have to do it like this for, for Indy. But to be fair, looking at the track map, everybody's out in one, everyone is out in one go. So, uh, yeah. But this is solo quality, so everyone is on their own. They can't see anybody else. They can't be affected by anyone else. So that means no crashes, no slipstream. It's a completely level playing field. Ali Yardinger is still in the lead. Then Jake Feimster, then Lucas Weber, then Ludwig Eriksson. J Jack Olivier, Benjamin Garcia, Andrea De Neuer, Mythic Wilson and Alberto White P10. I'm surprised Jake Wilson isn't higher up, considering he is part of... I say that, he just go. Uh, no, he's down P10 now. Uh, uh, considering he is a part of that sort of alliance with the two poor energy drivers. Yes, they're all on the same server. It is solo quality. It's a very clever thing that uh, the guys who design server manager, Emperor servers, have managed to develop. It's amazing. But a tenth of a second separates the top 12... 13. As Alberta White improves the P6. Contreras into the into P8. We have... I don't even know how, how long we have left. That long. A minute 35, apparently. I can, I can just double check that here. Okay, it's actually 2.20. So the, the timing is a bit off there. So it's about a minute longer than that. Ish. About 50 seconds. This could be a very good result for Port Energy if they pull this off in quality, but they need to hold it up for the race. P5 and P6 have the same time, and P7's only a thousandth back from that. Mythic and Wilson separated by a thousandth. Because it's a completely level playing field, you see the quality of these drivers. They are, it's such a close field. The race is a hundred laps. It's going to be insane. It's going to be absolutely insane. We are about a minute away minute and a half away from the end of the session. No one making any improvements from the time. Jack, Matty Labriak is the, the most recent improvement. Going to P9. Ooh, ooh, a couple, I think a couple of people just left the server and that's got to, sort of adjusted some things or has it? I don't know. Can Lucas Weber find those ex can't find that extra thousandth of a second to pull into P2 and make it in a poor energy 1-2 just as it was at the first attempt? Back in April. I think it was April. Was it April? I can't remember now. Lucas has got, gone green in the first ten, first sector. That's a personal best for him in the first sector. You see him coming towards turn three now. He's the pink dot coming into turn three now. Trader Joe has crashed. Obviously no effect for Lucas Faye, but it's a personal best in that second sector. This could be a real improvement. Is it? He's got the pits. No, he hasn't. Is this enough to take him to the top? It is! It is by a hundredth of a second! Lucas Faber takes pole. Ali Yardinger is now second. It's pole for Lucas Faber. We still have 25 seconds remaining in the session. 25 seconds left. Another improvement from Mixtrol puts it into P9. Ali Yardinger has improved in the final, final sector and made no improvement to his time overall, however. No problem, Ali Yardinger in the first sector. This could be enough for Lucas to take pole in AF1. Eight hundredths of a second separates the top 14. The entire field is separated by three quarters of a second. Trader Joe is 
uh, about uh, languishing behind a bit more. So top 24 separated by just over four tenths of a second. The checkered flag is out. Mixed troll improves to P4. Ali Yarmja has purpled the second sector, but it's not enough. He found he finds an extra thousandth of a second, but stays P2. It's looking like Lucas Weber's got the pole position here. There's still a few drivers to come along, including Contreras, Roshek, and Weber himself. Lucas Weber, any improvement from him? No, any more improvements? I'm not seeing any more improvements. Sleepy has gone onto the road course, I'm guessing. Uh, I think only Mixed Troll and Rubber are left to come across the line. Maybe White and Feimster, but they're, look Feimster, but they're looking quite slow at the minute. Uh, there is an improvement, I think I saw. Yes, there is an improvement for Rubber. Who goes to P6? A thousandth off of Alberto White. But it is Lucas Weber that takes the... Pole position for the Daytona 250. Ali Yardinger makes it a poor energy 1-2. Jake Feimster starts P3 in the squeaky wheels car. Then we have Mixtron in 4th. Alberto White 5th. Rubber 6th. Olivier 7th. Labiak 8th. Garcia 9th. Uh, Denoya 10th according to that. But I'm seeing someone else is in between that list that I've missed. Uh, Mixtron, White, Rubber, Olivier... Oh, uh, it's got it's listing Labiak and Garcia along the other way around on my uh, on live timing compared to ACTV. Uh, so I don't know who actually has that position, but it's it's, it's one of the two. And then Andrea De Noia is start is starting P10. Let's switch you back to the live broadcast because the drivers are on the grid. We are three minutes away from the start of Daytona 250. Look at that grid. We have 25 cars all ready to go. Is that not a sight? Glorious. I'm surprised the uh, safety car didn't do what they did last time. And Jens, last time, decided to take pole. Just so it would make things easier for the start of this race. Thank you to all 15 of you who are joining us. And thank you to Lucas uh, for sending a bit. We haven't had bits in a while, I think. We had a whole sort of trend in January where people kept sending bits and then just sort of dried out. Kind of sad. I'm being told by the safety car driver, uh, he'll for restarts he'll be pulling onto the apron and announcing the green flag from the apron because he can't map a control. Hopefully, uh, there won't be a crash at the back that will cause um, a pileup that hits him. Thank you for the eight bits, Jens, and goodbye. You are just on time. You are in at a perfect time to witness the start of the Daytona 250. Let's take you through the grid. We'll go in reverse order from the back of the grid. We have, with a slightly more in-focus camera, here we go. Trader Joe is the only driver on row number 13. Then row 12 is Joao Guerra and Gutierrez. Row 11, Daniel Wolf and Felinix. And row 10 is Crab Paulson alongside Mario Fonseca. Row 9, Mattia Suriano and Roman Nesh, both driving uh, Wolf Team Racing Car today. Lovely. I think Roman Nesh is actually a, a, an HRT driver now. Uh, row 8, Adam Roshek, Jet on Fire. Row 7, Jake Wilson and By Mythic. Row 6, Sleepy and Felipe Contreras. Row 5, Andrea De Noia and Matty Labiak. We're into the top 10 now. Row 4, Benjamin Garcia alongside Jack Olivier. Row 3, Rubber 9 and Alberto White. Row 2, Mick Stroll and Jake Fimes. And on the front row, Ali Yardinger and your pole sitter, Lucas Weber. Who's using a Vettel helmet today. 30 seconds for the start. It'll be two formation laps to get us started. And then we'll go green for 100 laps around the Daytona Speedway. What's it actually called? Daytona... It's just called Daytona. The World Centre of Racing. There's an actual name somewhere. These guys have got a perfect perfect view for the start of this race. As we go to the lights, which mean absolutely nothing when it's a formation lap. There is a car we've just lost. Uh, that is P10, I think. No, P9. That's P9. Um, which is... Was that Matty Labiak? It was Matty Labiak. We've lost Matty Labiak. 
Hopefully he will join us eventually, but we're underway. It's Miles driving the safety car for now. We'll have... Uh, yeah, it's just Miles today. Trying to make the way off the start. And uh, eventually we'll try and form into the right position. I'm not convinced they know what that position is. So, place your bets on how long it's going to be before the first safety car. My money is on two corners. We all remember, we, some of us will remember from the practice race, from the quote-unquote practice race we ended up doing, because of server issues, uh, we had a huge crash. Um, yeah, let's hope that doesn't happen again, or let's do, depending on whether you're in for the, here for the racing or for the crashes slash the stream. I'm hearing three stop strategies are going to be in play here. So that's sort of 25 laps per stint. But that could be thrown completely into disarray if we do get a safety car. And that's, that, that's not even an if, that's a when. You know, it's incredibly unlikely we're going to have 100 laps of, of completely crash-free racing with 25 cars all battling for position at 400 kilometers per hour. We're on to the second lap of, lap of the formation then. This will be where the field starts to bunch up into a pack and we'll be able to get going with some racing soon. Here's the rear view on the super high banking of the Daytona Oval. Twenty-five cars at Daytona is an amazing number of cars. It's amazing to see everybody here. We've got a really high quality field as well. All the field was separated by a really small margin. Less than a second in qualifying. Coming towards turn three now. The pressure is on for Lucas Weber. He's got that rear view behind him. And he's got his teammate holding back a little bit perhaps to try and oh, no, he's pulling back in now, but here we go. We're coming towards the start of the Daytona 250. Miles will pull along to the apron. I hope he's practiced that. He's going for the grass instead. Fair enough. Ready for the green. Green flag is away. Lucas gets a brilliant start. Miles rag. Oh, <laughs> confused Miles rag for a, an actual car. It seems to be fairly clean so far. We're going to make it to turn two. We're going to go further than my prediction goes so far. We're looking good. Mythic pushing. That's one of the Mongols cars going high. Uh, pushing high, that's actually Layback and Mythic. Uh, and that's Denoyer. Oh, I think there was a little tap there between that's Jake Wilson and Andrea Denoyer. Sleep, he's lost a load of places. He's dropped back to P15. I think there might have been some connection issues as well because he doesn't. I can't see his car stopped. Two by two by two. Or two by two. Oh no, there's four lots of twos there. That's Mixed Troll and White. That's fine to him, White. Four wide, four wide on lap one, Gus here goes to the apron. Surely not, he's going into turn two. He's down at three wide, Gus here's lost on the apron. Can he recover it? He's had to lose, he's, he's had to back off, but he's kept it going. No safety car, no spin, four wide on lap two, unbelievable. Let's switch to the front of this. This is a two by two battle for P3, Mix Troll and Feimster. Fimes on the inside, Mixer on the outside. Behind that, you've got Alberto White and Rubber. This is the view from Alberto White's camera. In the slip through, Mixer topping out at nearly at over 400 kilometers an hour. Up high, trying to keep it together. He's boxed in, he's got nowhere to go. He's just got to make sure not to hit Mixer, not hit the wall, and not hit the car to the right, to the left of him. That is Rubber. White's going three wide down the middle into turn three. He's touched. Oh, that's Feimster. Oh, huge air. That's Mixtrol. Well, that's Mixtrol making a huge air. Oh, and he's come back on track. It's carnage. We're going to have the safety car, surely. There it is. You've got your money. You've got your money's worth. There's four cars involved there. I'll try and get, find out who's involved in that. That's, to, that's both of the uh, Alpha Wolf team racing painted cars. That's uh, Daniel Wolf. And Roman Nesh, Mario Fonseca was involved in that, and that will be Mixed Troll recovering from that as well. Uh, off track there, that is as Roman Nesh in the other Wolf Team racing car. We should be under a safety car now. 
We are now, yes. That's a bit of a power a power stance between the two poor energy racing cars for a second there. So Wolf, Fonseca, Roshek have all gone uh, taken to the pit lane. Uh, hopefully Miles Rag will be on track right now, and I think he is. A proper high octane start to this to this race. Excellent to see, it's exactly what I was looking for. And uh, we're only on lap five. We've just started lap five. Weber leads. Yardimja is second. The poor energy 1-2 has ma been maintained. Feimster, after that tap with Mixtroll, remains in P3. Alberto White was close there in P4. Rubber was also involved in that. He's backed off. He, I th he clearly backed off to get away from that collision. He is in P9. Uh, between them we have Alberto White, uh, Jake Wilson P5, Denoyer P6, Olivier P7, Jet on Fire has done well to get to P8, then Rubber 9 is in 9th, then we have Contreras in 10th, uh, then Garcia, Paulson, Felinix, Labiak and Gutierrez rounds out the points, then we've got Sleepy, Mixtrol, Fonseca, Mythic, Nesh, Wolf, Suriano, Trader Joe, Guerra and Adam Roshek. This could be the end of the championship for Joao Guerra but it is early doors, we're only on lap 5 of 100 and the server seems to be holding up well. Uh, I'm a little curious where the safety car is. I would have thought they would have pulled out by now. But, uh, Rag is at turn two, and these guys are coming through the, the start finish straight, as you see there. Yeah, we've got the Formula America's Oval 2020. It's a beautiful car. It, it is a beautiful car, Josh. Sorry for my tardiness tonight. What a great way! What a great entrance. Hello, I redacted. You've missed. Have you happened to see the first, um, the first incident? The first safety car. Uh, no, I did miss that. I was, uh, like I told you earlier, I was on a phone call with my in-laws uh, and uh, missed the first five laps or so. Came in right as the safety car was deployed. It was. <laughs> it was glad to have you here anyway. It, it was a great start. It's surprisingly clean. We went four wide coming into the start of lap two, and that wasn't dirty. Uh, Garcia had to take evasive action onto the apron, but uh, and nearly lost it, but he saved it. And he dropped down, so he's now... <laughs> safety car's not going fast enough at the minute. Very <laughs> but... Well, who's that going on the... I was, I was just going to set, notice that. I saw somebody going up the apron uh, on the back straight. Didn't know what that was. Somebody just uh, pinged, Maybe race somebody control is giving them some direction. Oh, please hold up. Please hold up. Okay. I'm going to assume everything's going well now. Uh, but the safety car was caused by Mixtroll going up the uh, up the middle between uh, Feimster and Alberto White. Uh, and then all hell broke loose. One tap and Mixtroll is flying like... Uh, flying... All sorts. It was crazy. Uh, Jake is not going to watch like back the that, stream. Uh, I definitely think. But Fimes has managed to maintain P3. Um, collected in that crash was also Daniel Wolf, Suriano, Trader Joe, Gerha, Roshek, and Roman Nesh. Yeah, I know. I know Jake was really looking forward to this race. He, uh, me, and him were talking about some of the uh, plays he was. He had noticed that from the first attempt at this race, at the beginning of the season, that he knows that he could probably play on the poor energy guys at the front. But so far, it looks like we're playing out the same way. Yeah, there's, a, uh, there's still a lot of strategy to come into play as well later on, but we'll get to that. Uh, are, are you able to get in? We've got There's a slot for you in the in the safety car you can join. Okay, I didn't... Uh, yeah, I'll join now. The password's on the A4 chat. Just coming towards the restart now, I'm assuming. Yes, Miles pulling onto the apron, so we'll, we will be getting onto a restart. Miles have to take to the grass to do it. Vape is going to get away now. You can hear the the pedal put to the floor. Feimster has got a good start. He's managed to stay with Ali Yardinger. He's going to challenge that. Behind that, however, is a huge battle going on. White is going around the outside of Wilson. No, uh, wrong way around. Other way around. Behind that, we've got Denoyer and Olivier side by side. And Jet on Fire and Rubber side by side as well. Three, two by two by two on the restart. Weber and Yardinger side by side for the lead as well. Oh, I see that's uh, Alberto White having to quickly change lanes mid-corner, but he's kept it together. There's going to be three wide almost coming on to the eight, coming on to the start-finish straight. Fiebs is going to maintain P2, uh, P3. How long is that going to be for? I think someone hit the wall there. That was Alberto White in the wall. We got another crash. Another crash. That is one of the... Uh, well, there's a lot of people involved in that. A lot of people are surely involved in safety saw, car again, so. Oh, oh! I just got a, a sort of a collection there. That was, um, I think that's Fonseca again. That's Fonseca involved in that. I saw 
That is Paulson going across the apron sideways. Rubber was involved in that, and White. So Rubber and White came together. Garcia's going to maintain that, uh, gain some positions as well. Mythic has got us stopped. He's on the he's on the grass. And we're going to be into safety car number two. Caution period number two on lap nine. How many safety cars we're going to get? Energy guys up front. It's, it's all the guys up front that are being that are being um, taken out by this, isn't it? How much? Uh, yeah. <laughs> how much? Jack Aliga uh, made the move on on Feimster clean, and then I mean the top five is still the same. This is this the safety cars is definitely playing into the strategy of uh, of poor energy here. You know they've got they're setting the pace for the whole thing and can control the the pit strategy as they see fit. Yeah, they've got their two guys up front, so they can control it as they wish. But Jack Olivier started sort of, I think it was something P7 or P8, so he's got, had a great start. Jake Feimster was P3 uh, from the start. So Olivier's had a great restart from that one. Yeah, I, I imagine we'll be seeing a uh, an overtake into uh, into turn two by by Feimster on the restart. He'll have that good, uh, good draft off of Olivier. You can see here that Lucas is going to fall back on the restart like he is now. He's leaving a, a sizable gap to his teammate so that they're not giving a double draft to the guy in P3. We're going to be going. We're going to have one more lap of safety car, it seems. I say no one else, take, no one really taking the pits at the minute. Uh, Daniel Wolf is the highest guy that's pitted so far. He's P12. Still working on getting in. Apparently, I didn't have this track downloaded, which is great since you know, I, normally <laughs> race, I, I normally race in this league. So prepared. So, our Yanja now leaves this field. Lucas Weber is second. We have Jack Olivier in third as they go onto the back straight. We've got a few cars just coming towards the wheel of the field. That's Trader Joe. Uh, Suriano's in there as well, and Adam Roshek. I believe. Uh, just to address some toaster said in the uh, Twitch chat, it, um, all the lap numbers are off by two because we did two formation laps at the beginning of this. So lap seven was actually lap five of the race. Yes, so we're on lap 11 at the minute. Round turn four. Should be getting underway again. How long is it going to be before the next safety car? In seconds. Oh. Well, safety cars coming in. I imagine we'll probably be under safety car by uh, turn three. And we go green. Weber's got a good start. He's going to go to the inside immediately on Lucas Weber. Same, same two for Jack Olivier and uh, Jake Feimster. They're going to be side by side. And Jake Wilson behind that, almost tapping the rear of Jake Feimster. But everyone's clean now this time, it seems. The top seven have managed to get into one pack and have already started to break away from Contreras behind. Side by side for the lead again. Fimes is going to try and make take advantage of this. I'm giving up saying Feimster for now because I, I just can't say it quick enough. I can't focus quick enough. Yandra leads. Fimster takes second place now and Weber's going to go to the outside. It's going to be three wide for the lead. Oh no, he's taking out his teammate. Weber's been hit. Weber's been hit. He's kept it going. He's dropped back to P6 now. Fimster takes the lead. Yardam just second. Oh, Jet on fire, almost getting his nose chopped off by Jake Wilson. I think I saw a crash behind, maybe. No, I didn't. No, no, all good. Oh, there is someone on the on the uh, apron. Fimes with Yardam just still side by side. These aren't really very good camera angles. We've got better camera angles. I think, yeah, this might be better. Maybe. Oh, there's someone exit stage left. That is one of the high-performance automotive cars. Uh, that was Sleepy going. Roshek's been involved in that as well. Off to the left goes. That is Wilson. Are we dropping down for a safety car? Someone's going for the lead. That's Felinix. I think he hasn't heard the safety car call. Yeah, he hasn't. Uh, Wilson's gone off again. I believe we are in a safety car. Denoyer's involved in that as well. If I can get... So yeah, better. Uh, Contreras is involved. Felinix needs to drop back a few places and he has... So we lasted another five laps. Four laps, in fact. Um, Feimster making a great jump there. Keeping it clean. Someone, I've seen someone on the map here that's sort of off bottom right. I don't know if you can see it on your screen. 
Uh, I wonder who that is. That is... Oh, that's Alberto White. He's gone off into space, it, it seems. Uh, Garcia has retired. Wilson and Paulson taken to the pits, as well as... That's someone towards the front. That's Rubber going into the pits. And Jake Wilson's there as well. What do you think, Redacted? Too early for a pit stop? Yeah, it's probably a, a tad early for a pit stop. Uh, the guys who should think about pity now are ones who would want to would have a better chance by being on an off strategy than than trying to win this race on the, uh, the standard strategy. Yeah, am I right in saying it should be a three stop race? We're expecting. Yeah, that sounds about right. Three stops. So we're only about we're only about eight laps or so off strategy. That could hurt them. They might have to do some fuel saving later in the race. But then again, if we're going to get this many safety cars, this could end up... I mean, the amount of safety cars we're going to get could end up stretching to a two-stop. Oh, that's someone onto the... Uh, who is that going on to the apron? That is... That'll be... Um, I won't give up. Who is it? Nesh. It was a lap down. He's going to try and make up a, a lap, it seems. I didn't realize we were allowing that. Uh, I, I don't believe we are. I remember uh, looking at the rules posted, and that was a uh, oh. that once that you're not allowed to to make up your lap with the uh, the quote lucky dog rule. I have a question. Why is the noise only making it up back to P four five? Is he trying to get? Does he think he's a lap down? Because he's now P four. He's backed up. Yeah, okay, he's eased off now beyond Jack and Olivia. I guess he's taking that position back. Jet on fire is now P5, which is uh, amazing. He's come from a long way back. I'm just going to assume that what that was was legal. Jake Wilson has retired as well. I wasn't expecting a race of attrition. Not like this, at least. Are we going to go green this lap? We, we are, are going green. green. Yes, that is rag onto the apron. Let's get a rear view going from Feimster. We are Green, who goes immediately to the apron. That's going to lose him a load of time. Here comes Alan Yardam just surely. Yes, he's uh, yeah, he's switching to top gear a lot earlier. So he's going to go for the outside through turn two. Behind that, Denoya and Olivier side by side. Felix is ready to take advantage as well. Jet on fire, just hang on to this pack. Despite... Car off oh, on the inside of the apron. Uh, that is Trader Joe. No one else involved, it seems. We're going to keep going. Yarmja to the outside. That's Jack Olivier going to the lead, actually. Yarmja's back in fourth now. Denoyer's right behind this. You know who had an excellent restart was Rubber. He's up about five positions in this lap alone. Yeah, he was involved in an earlier crash, so he's going to make he's uh, making good on his recovery plans. Down inside again goes Jake Feimster. Sleepy and Nesh have crashed off. I think they was trying to go into, either come into the pit lane or they just they just got tangled together because they're in pit exit at the minute, pit entry at the minute. Denoya seems to be darting about all over the place, trying to pick which lane to go with. Just stay with one and be consistent. Fimes to Olivier have the lead. Behind that, Denoya almost took to the apron, almost took out Felinix. He had to really check up there. Uh, that is Paulson going to the pits in the meantime. And Yardinger loses another position. Yeah, he's dropped to the back of this field. This Suddenly, there's no... Uh, <laughs> There's no solidarity between the two poor energy cars, and suddenly it's all gone out of it, it's out of control for them. You must have a safety car incident because they're all uh, slowed down rather quickly here. Yes, I saw Mythic and Mixtroll uh, both flashing red on my ACTV. I haven't seen them on track though. Uh, oh yeah, I just see it. it's on the start finish straight. I just missed it. So we're we got another five laps. It's like five lap sprints. I wouldn't mind twenty five lap sprints to be fair, but. Uh, Long ones are going to be a different thing if we ever get to that. Hey, you know, I, I expected this race to be cleaner than the Monaco GP today. I was mistaken. I, yeah, I wasn't expecting no safety cars from... Oh, no, Jack Feimster! Wait, what, that, what just happened? Did he just re recover in the same place? I just saw him spinning and recover. Dan uh, Lucas Weber's lost a couple positions at the minute. He's going to recover that old Daniel Wolf. I'm sure I saw, I think it might have been Fellini actually spinning, but he's come back. I don't know. That was weird. 
You know, while we're under safety car, we should look at some of these liveries, like Jake, uh, Jake Feimster's livery for the Oval, with the, the Ferrari livery in blue, of all things. Yes, the NART Ferrari, the North American Racing Team Ferrari. Lovely looking car. Even I'm unfamiliar with I'm unfamiliar with this team, but yeah, I've never seen Ferrari in anything but Scarlet. Yeah, they're on the Squeaky Wheels team, and they are running a split livery. So uh, Jake Feimster, this was at the start of the season at least, Jake Feimster was running the NART Ferrari, and Ben Hayes was running the standard red Ferrari. There's Jack Olivier with the Macca racing cars. A lot cleaner than it was earlier in the season. Are we going to go to green this lap, I think? Or is it going to be another lap? Trying to read the body language of the safety car driver. No, we're, we're, we're still going. We're still going. One more lap. That gives me more time to look at some more liveries. No one else pulling for pits, which I was a little surprised at. Annoyed yeah, with the, uh, the standard mongrels, Luftwaffe, uh, kind of golf inspired livery. Yes, that is a classic now in, in AF. Uh, well, a very well known livery. Uh, same for the blackened vomit gold color of the poor energy cars. Yes. Although, surprisingly, um, at least last night on the AF2 race, uh, Lucas Weber, who is, you know, the stronghold of poor energy, was in a blue and white car. Is that that livery this season? I, I haven't looked uh, yet. I haven't I paid I, I no attention so. to AF2 this season so far because yeah, I couldn't it was, join yesterday. It was blue and white. Um, I'd seen a livery similar to it, and it had, like, Hussink Veld and other stuff on it. I don't remember where I'd seen it, but yeah, it was blue and white. Looked kind of like an old school Porsche livery. I spot Jake Wilson coming through around the apron as we're about to go green. I suspect if we get the, if we get a yellow in the next five laps, that'll be when people will pit. We're going to yeah, go to green I now. Jet on fire gets a good start. No, he doesn't. He's had to wait for Ali Yardimja. Lucas had to wait. didn't get a good start. He's fallen back already off of his teammate. Yes, and that will be Daniel Wolf ready to take advantage. Ali Yardin's already passed one car. He's already back on. He's already on back of Andrea De Noia and Felinix. He's gone for the high line through turn three, turn two. And are we all on safety car? Oh, we got a huge yeah, pile up behind. I'm seeing, apparently. That is Adam Roshek involved in there. I saw a lot of cars uh, in a different pack. Sort of slowed down. Sleep is involved in that, it seems. Mythic and Nesh and Gutierrez. Uh, Fonseca's now left. I don't know if Mixed Rob is involved in that as well, but he's in. He's sort of towards the back of this. That is a car. That's Jake, Jake Wilson, who's actually struggling to stay on. But now we've been told to pit, I would think. And uh, two drivers already taken advantage of that. It's Jake Feimster towards the front. And Jake Wilson, who I think has just missed his box. Or almost missed his box. So it's now Jack Olivier that takes the lead of this race. I'd like to point out Miles Rag is only six laps down from the lead of this race. 23 laps into the race. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think uh, Miles will easily come in with the most safety car laps of any of our uh, safety car drivers. He's, yeah, he's getting right up there with Bert Mylander. Our most experienced safety car driver this race. Hopefully he doesn't have any um, Daniel Ricardo incidents with a uh, Zbanala. <laughs> It'll be closely followed by Diego Domingo for doing his laps at Shanghai Tiamma. I, I missed that race. I, I heard it was a lot of uh, fun. I won both races if you didn't see it. Oh yeah, a little, uh, little self-glory there. Sure. I did so well in that race. I'm fully kidding. We should, be, <laughs> we should be one more lap to the green. We've had many different leaders in this race. Uh, let's see, who, who we had in the lead of this race? Jack Olivier, uh, Yardinger, and Lucas Weber, and Jake Fiemster. The four we've had in the lead of this race so far. And we're only a quarter of the way through. I'm kind of curious what the pack is thinking right now. Um, well, 
I don't know. I, I imagine that I could jump down into their uh, their voice chat, and they're all pleading. At least the top the top seven guys are all pleading for more than five laps of green flag early racing. Well, let's do it. Let's see if we get that on attempt number five at clean racing. Jack Oliver goes very early, and he's already dropped for Phoenix, who's also dropped to Andrea De Noia, But Ali Yarringer is ready to take on Andrea De Noia. He goes to the inside through turn two takes the position easy peasy behind that everyone seems to be getting away pretty well i'm on board with uh maddie labiak right now and it's all looking clean through the throughout the field i can see forward and back of it and finally getting a little uh little space in the field to promote some clean laps yeah, daniel wolf just taking uh, lucas Weber down the inside through turn three and four and Jet on Fire is trying to follow. Behind that, I think I spot that's... Um, oh, that's one of the lap cars who's getting involved in this, trying to get through the field. They're darting a bit left and right. They're going to try and go... Are they going to try and go three wide? Doesn't look like... No, they're not. Lucas Faber's having to go almost hit the wall through turn two, through turn one. Had me holding my breath there for a second. I thought he was going to go three wide with Lucas. I'm having to do this whole oh, thing with my breath on. held. I'm going to jump to P, the battle of P2 because, uh, well, Ali Yardinger and Felix have already caught Jack Olivier and Denoyes along for the ride as well. Ali Yardinger going to the outside for the lead, takes the lead. Felix is going to follow through as well and take P2. Surely he's going to go there, stay the outside. Jack Olivier makes oh. a beast. Oh, oh, Jack Olivier off to the left. That could really hurt his championship challenge. Olivier's off. He's well off as well. He's not going to hit anybody else in that. Yarn takes uh, the lead, Felina second. A safety car to help him out there. That's gonna that's gonna really hurt his race. Yeah, he's gonna lose out on any advantage or any you know damage control. He's got he hasn't got that to play with. Weber, meanwhile, is having his own fun little battle. Daniel Wolf, Jet on Fire, and Rubber all around him. Yeah, Rubber just overtook him. I don't know if there was some net coda just a second ago, but I was looking at Weber and he bounced off the wall. Could have just been a, a little bit of a lag. I don't know if he actually hit because he's still going pretty good. Try orbit cam, see how orbit cam is. Uh, trying to capture how close these battles are and how many people are in them. Because there's a hell of a lot of them. Oh, Weber touches oh. rubber. He's oh. still going to go three wide down the middle. Three wide. Oh, this is going to end three badly, wide surely. Oh. Weber's made it. Weber's made it. No, he's almost tapped rubber. He's almost tapped Jet, in fact. Jet's kept it going. Lucas is going to take third, fourth place at the minute. Jet's not giving oh, up. Rubber. Rubber's going to go down the inside of the two of them. No, he's backed out of it. Oh, Jet to the outside, almost touches Lucas. He's still almost touching Lucas, it's far too close. These four are going to catch the leaders very soon. Lucas almost hitting the wall on the outside. Oh, yeah, Adam Joe and Felix almost touching as I saw it up, up front. Jet's going to try down the Jet middle and copy what Lucas wide. did last lap. Three wide. Yeah, no, he's almost touched Daniel! Lucas in the wall! Lucas in the wall! He's flying! And I'm dizzy! Oh. That's Lucas into the pits! He's out! He's out for now! And no safety oh. car! Bad luck for Lucas. Why would you try three wide? You, you know, we've got the, the rule that the car that makes it three wide is automatically at fault, but I have a hard Jet. time saying that that's Jet's fault. That'll have to be reported at the end, but that is the end of Lucas's championship. He was really hoping for a, for a win in this race, but he's still come out in P12 because there's a lot of cars a lap down, including some of the people in this. Oh, some net code there. Oh, it's chaos. That's that's rubber. That's rubber with the net code. There's the safety car. Uh, Mike Daniel Wolf, actually. That'll surely get looked at for, for joining the from the apron back to the corner mid-turn. I think that was net code that caused that. How are we not in the safety car? There's a great four-way battle going on between uh, Matty Labiak, Felipe Contreras, Daniel Wolf, and Jet on Fire, I believe. No. Might be Bimythic. Uh, it is Bimythic, sorry. Bimythic's not in this, I think. Yeah, yeah, Gutierrez and Bimythic are in their own battle. Yeah. But he's very close to itself. Mixtrol trying to stay a lap, uh, trying to pull back some time. He's got the pace we've seen, uh, so he should be able to get through this, or he needs to at least, to get any chance of getting anything out of this. Oh, the that is... That's Crab. The infield. That's Crab to the left. He's a lap down already. 
We're down to that period in the race where we're down to single car crashes. Which will be great for not having safety car and getting us through some laps. Oh, good, yeah, going to go to the three wide on by Mythic. Really squeezing it, squeezing him to the inside. Really, Mix is not back giving much room there. Oh, the millimeters. Mix draws out the back out. He's hit the wall, he's hit the wall, he's scraping the wall. And Gecha's in this more, as well. How many more laps do you think the front runners can go uh, if they have to pit under green, if we don't get another safety car? I think they're going to have to pit under green. Jake Feemster hasn't pit, ha, ha, uh, pitted under a safety car, I think it was. But he's back in P12. He's the last of the lap car, uh, last of the cars on the lead lap, I believe. In fact, no, he's not. Well, yeah, he is. He is. He's the last car on the lead lap. Gutierrez to the inside on Mythic. Yeah, he's made that move for now. It's super close again. I feel like there's no stability with these cars going around the corners. There's a lot of bobbing about mid-corner. You know, I feel like a lot of these guys built out a setup for one lap quality pace and didn't uh, didn't make any sort of adjustment for, hey, I, need to, I might need to go a little slower and be a lot more stable in the race. Quite possibly, yeah. Which might be why Yardinger and Weber were doing so well at the start of the race. They've got that one lap pace, but they've also collaborated with Jake Wilson to produce a setup that's good at leading the race and controlling it. They've the, they're the ones that got the strategy best until they come together and get caught up in other people. Yeah, but you know... Oh, good rest, side by side. Oh, side. Is, is it 10 off? You know, he's, he's right there on the lead in the... Uh... I, I cannot possibly imagine a scenario where the battle of P8, P8 and the battle of P14 would collide, but here it is, and it's glorious because you know it's a ticking time bomb. Both of them want to get, want to get back on the lead lap and get ahead of the other person. It's... Oh, God. Someone's to the left. That is coming to the pits for Matty Labiak. He's going to do, do a green flag pit stop. One lap 36. So a two-stop is suddenly in range. Maybe. With a few safety uh, cars. Yeah, we'd have to, we'd have, to have a, a few more strategically placed safety cars for a two-stop to work from this point in the race. I still think that if uh, if you haven't done a pit stop already, you're looking at a three stopper from here under oh, green. Oh, oh, someone up! Oh, sorry, I saw someone crash, but he's managed to uh, keep it going. That is Daniel Wolf that's got involved in that. Oh no! Fonseca and Guerra. And there. I think there's other cars involved Guerra. in that as well. Yeah, that'll be definitely a safety car, surely. So this will be a safety car. Everybody should be coming into the pits here. Yeah, we yeah absolutely. Here. Wolf, uh, Fonseca, Roshek all involved in that as well. you got to go now. you got to go now. Yeah, you're right. And we do see that. Jack Olivier's in. He's from, he's from P9 at the minute. Uh, same for Rubber 9. No uh, such pit stop for that is Daniel Wolf, I believe. I can't see you know, Jack, oh, he either slammed on his brakes himself coming into the pits or he blew past the line and the game told him to slow down. Might be looking at a, a, a nice penalty for that. Yeah, we're, gonna have, we're gonna, probably going to be looking at a lot of penalties after this race for pit speed limiting, for, for pit speed limit violations. Uh, we'll have to see. Let's see if anyone goes into the pits right now. I would expect the most of the field to. Um, a couple are. Yes, Yardinger is not. Interestingly, a couple of near rear ending there. Uh, Felinix, Denoya, Jet on Fire, Contreras, Mythic, Gutierrez, they're all in the pits. But still, a surprising amount of people that haven't pitted. Did Yardimger pit early, actually? Uh, I don't th believe so. I'm on board with Yardimger now. He is sitting on 20 liters of fuel. Oh, you have that information. I didn't realize you could get that. Uh, it's on the steering wheel. Huh. No, I think that's the same for everybody. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a, right. it's a, it's a, Okay. I Which, thought that's, I that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. Why doesn't that work the way it should? Gutierrez has got a brilliant run off the pit uh, off the pit lane. He's come up, back up to P3. Jake Feemster's back in the game. P2 for him. What an excellent um, race down pit lane for Gutierrez. Amazingly, the Delta seems to be working for, for individual drivers because it's not the same for everybody. Why is Felix trying to... Okay, okay. I wonder... Felix should not be passing Gutierrez right now. Why is he doing that? 
Gutierrez has that P3. He beat him off the pit lane. Yes, he's done so. Yardimja's in the pits now. Yardimja is in now. That's a odd strategy call to wait for the field to get backed up to pit. Is it? Yeah, is it possible that uh, that can't possibly work? Jake Fiemes is in as well. He only pitted recently. In fact, Jake Fiemes only pitted... Oh, that doesn't help. He now says zero pit. That doesn't help. Matteo Suriano pitted 35 laps ago. Mixed roll 25. Uh, so we expect them on the next pit on the next pit stops soon. Um, yeah, everybody else is pretty much stopped. I think I just saw Felix jump a little bit, maybe. No. Well, here's an interesting development. Um, there's Rubber. He's leading this race, but there are nine cars in front of him that should not be there. The first of them is Matty Labiak, who is P12. So I don't know how that's happened. Jack Olivier has Guerra in between him and Rubber. Safety car's in. We're going to be green flag racing once again. And it's going to be absolutely car absolute carnage because there's many people on different laps. Let's just see what happens. Olivier's yeah, going to get a decent start. I don't know. Maybe, for, maybe before Indy in two weeks, we'll do the right thing and get these lapped cars around on the safety car laps. Or at least adjust it in the field. In iRacing style. The way iRacing did it was perfect. But need to work out our algorithm. So, Olivier's managed to pass Guerra. And he's passed Fonseca. In fact, Guerra's a long way back. So, he's now going to try and catch the leader. He's seven tenths ahead. But he's also got some lap cars to go through as well. Here's Jet on Fire going around the outside of By Mythic at turn four. Uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of people up in front that I can't figure out who's who because it's not on the lead lap. Uh, I think Paulson's there, so I'm going to go with... Yeah, that was a decent guess. Adam Rushing. Yeah, that uh, Turkish Flip. Torpedoes car stands out. And there's a car off. And Oh, that is... Oh, who, I, who was that? That is Daniel Wolf, I think. No, it's Mixtrol again. Mixtrol's gone off. Uh, Denoy has gone off. We have a safety car. Jacko did a great job of uh, missing that upside-down car on the high side while going around uh, Paulson there. Bit of smart driving. Is Yardin just still in the pits? I've just spotted he's in the pits. Did he teleport, teleport back or something? Was he involved in that? I wonder. Roshek, don't hit Felinix. Come on. Oh, this is a real bummer for him. He gets stuck behind the safety car on the way out of the pits. And is going around it. Hmm. I'm guessing he's consulted with race control. There's a few cars going around the outside. Rag isn't... Oh, uh, Rag is sort of still in the pit exit. He's on the apron. But the top three have now all bunched up into the same pack. We have Olivier, Rubber, and Felinix. Who, well, actually, Crab Paul's in between Rubber and Felinix. Uh, this is lap 42 of 100. There's still going to be a large queue of cars that I won't be able to figure out who it is. Weber's in that pack in P13. So we've got Matty Labiak once again leading the, the uh, train. Sleepy in there as well. So does Trader Joe and Lucas Weber. And then we have the actual leader of the race in Jack Olivier. This could be a real bummer for Lucas Weber's uh, chances of winning this race, despite all the crashes, uh, considering, well, the leader's right behind him. As you will well know, Redacted, going a lap down in an, in an oval race is basically the death blow. Yeah, it's uh, it's never a good thing. That's why the, the in uh, American oval racing you have the lucky dog rule. Contrast. Full course caution comes out, you, and you're a lap down. You go around to the back of the field. I'm sorry, Contreras has just gone off on the safety car, so he's going to go to the back of the queue, P11. Yeah, so we only have 11 cars. We have well, we have 13 cars on the lead lap. This is Daytona. We don't say Q here. I said, did I say Q? You did. Yeah. Q train line. And the uh, the safety car is being overtaken by some lap traffic now. Maybe, I think uh, they, I think they've they, I think maybe the drivers have gone. Okay, we need to let lap cars pass. So they've done that. Jack Olivier now leads this field. And that'll put uh, Matty Labiak back on the lead lap and at the back of the field. That'll be uh, that'll be great for him. And Contreras will be right there as well in P11. So there's opportunities for him. Yardimj is in there as well. So yeah, there's still there's still opportunities. We're not even half distance in this race. It's been a stunning race so far. Not a lot of racing. We've had quite a bit of racing. 
Yeah, I think this is what we sh kind of should have expected when we take a bunch of people who mainly do road racing and, uh, and slap them on an oval in a 200 mile an hour car. Yeah, I want to make sure I get this right. Um, I say, <laughs> uh, Backer saying, uh, so Barco and Backer both saying that the safety car is three laps down. That's actually, he, Miles is 28 laps down on the lead of this race. So it's, so it's only like, he's done like 18 laps, I think. Yeah, for some reason, the, uh, the ACTV is showing him as a uh, plus two laps. Probably because it can't fit the eight in there. I think no, I think he's two laps off of Alberto White. Yeah, Alberto White's completed 14 laps. Mm. And Miles has completed 12. Oh, Garcia's going back. Which is good to see. With some ping issues, apparently. We are going to go green again. Rubber 9 is going to be ready to chase down his teammate, Jack Olivier. Green flag uh, on. It's a brilliant start from Rubber. Those two are two of the best drivers in the community. I'm sure they're working team tactics right now. They, they know exactly what they're doing. They're not going to have a, uh, a collision of teammates. Rubber takes the lead. Olivier is now second. Felinix has got... Uh, that's actually a lap car. That's someone going off in the... That's Daniel Wolf, I think it was. No, it wasn't. Who oh, did it? you see? Did you see that lag? Car I saw that. Full. It's Robert Nash. We got a huge pile of that's someone upside down. Oh man! All, all I saw was a car come flying through like it teleported. Definitely looked like the network. For Linux was involved in that. Yeah, that's who I was on board with when it came through. I, I didn't see anyone else involved. I saw a high performance automotive on his on sort of spinning on his roll hoop like a Beyblade. Um, you're really dating yourself there with the... Uh, the uh, shitty toy early, products are available. Early 2000s shitty anime toy products. I live in the early 2000s. Okay, so that lasted all of that one corner. Somebody uh, somebody there got banished to the Shadow Realm. Yeah, I think that was Roman Nesh, based on what I saw my dry on the driver tracker. Right, it's Rubber's turn to take a restart. <sighs> and Juan has uh, managed to squeeze himself into P3. He's fourth on the road behind a lapped car, I believe. That's Crab Paulson. Yes, it is. Uh, Gutierrez and Jet on fire making excellent work of the, the race down pit lane on a couple of restart, a couple of safety cars ago. When everyone stopped, Gutierrez was super fast out of the box. Maybe he did like a splash and dash, like a reduced fuel to get some more track position. Is that would that be a viable strategy for you? I think. Do you think? Um, it, it could be unlikely at, at this point in the race that that'd be a viable strategy. If we were later in the race, where a splash and dash could get you to the end, but early in the race, you know, the fuel to do a full stint is the the best option, I, I believe. Who's that going with the power play around the apron? I believe that was Felinix. Felinix, who's going to try and stay on the lead lap. He's gone, come out of pits ahead of the safety car, so he'll get to stay on the lead lap. Lucky him. Is that where Lucky Dog comes from? No. Well, maybe. It, 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 yeah. Actually, this is going to be really bad for Felinix because he's actually going to end up about half a lap down the whole field. Well, he's going to have to hope for another safety car very soon. Uh, but he's going to be uh, with nobody at the safety car restart. Assuming we are in this lap, yeah. I would assume so. We're on the second lap of that sa of the safety car. And yeah, the safety car the is coming in. Away we go. In a minute. How's Jack Olivier's start going to be? I'll tell you who it is. Good stuff. Oh, it's really good stuff. Jet on fire. Oh, oh Gutierrez! Instantly goes right and knocks, Guti uh, knocks Jet's confidence and his front left tyre. Oh, and there's going to the other one, Mythic! Mythic for spinning, he's hit one of the... He's hit Yardinger! For reference, Felinix was going into turn three at the restart. Mix Troll's involved in that as well. And we are under safety car, which will help Felinix Absolutely, we are. We are. Roshek was involved in that as well, and I think Sleepy was. Um, so another huge pileup. Started by Gutierrez. 
indirectly at least. Salvador Gutierrez is tapping Jet on fire and causing him to lose ground. Then behind that was a huge uh, pileup. Oh, patience, guys! Patience. You've still got forty. You've still got fifty-two laps to go. By the end of this race, Miles will have more kilometers driven in the AF safety car than anybody else. You make that sound like an official fact. It could be, but we have no way of verifying it. I'll just claim being right until someone proves me otherwise. This is just a hundred laps of me... Uh, this is like the greatest hits of me screaming at crashes. Just think, we get to do this all over again two weeks on a proper four-corner oval. Rather than a five-corner oval that only counts as four, but really it's two, three. Th th that's really three. They call it that a tri-oval. It has four corners, but it should have five. But it should have I three. don't believe the uh, the banking at Indy is anywhere near as severe as it is here at Daytona. Nowhere near. I think it's nine degrees at Indy, and it's something like thirty degrees at Daytona. Yeah. Oh, and we're on the apron here. Oh and my! Oh wall. no! 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 Yeah, Miles got. Yeah, no, I'm gonna keep going for a bit. As, uh, that was Contreras onto the apron, into the wall, coming out of turn four. Like Contreras doing that. Okay. Yeah, yeah I'm, 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 uh, I'm on board with Contreras. It seems to give me a really good uh, viewpoint of the whole field. I can see ahead and behind. I'm going to bring collision pop-ups back up so I can actually see a lot quicker who's involved in collisions. I mean, at least the good news from all of these safety cars is we have no idea who's going to win, number one. And number two, anybody can win. The field will always be close. Yeah, it, it's, it's super close right now. I mean, obviously not everybody's on the lead lap right now. I think we're uh, 16 people on the lead lap, maybe? Uh, 13. Mythic is currently going around turn two, and he's on the lead lap. Okay, 13. So Gera is the lead car on... Gera is the lead car on the... On uh, lap behind, and he's just behind Gutierrez. As we go to another restart for what is probably the tenth time, I don't know. I've lost count. Yep. Rubber leads Ooh. from Olivier. And Crab Paulson's right up Olivier's gearbox there. Could you, uh, Wolf has got an even better start. He's already done. He's gone past Crab Paulson already. He's going right on with Daniel Wolf. Olivier retakes the lead, and Daniel Wolf is on the back of the both of them. Here comes the slipstream on Rubber. Standard uh, teamwork right there. Vabers be Vabers crashed. Vabers crashed again. Wolf's going three wide. Surely down the inside he is. Wolf going three wide for the lead. And he takes Completed the lead. For the corner. Stunning move. There's a two Macca racing cars still deciding on P2. Who takes that? It's going to be Rubber for now. Rubber's going to go to the outside for the lead again. Oh, Olivier having to switch to, the, to a different lane. Is he going to go three wide? He is. Ooh, uh, no, he's not. Rubber takes the lead. Olivier's going to take second, surely. No, Wolf's got still got the inside line. I want to check behind this because that, that's what I want to see. Look at this. There's about 10 cars all jostling for position or trying We're to stay on the lead lap. Wide. Olivier just bows out there to prevent the three wide. Yeah, ticking time bomb right right here. It's only it's only a matter of time. There's about 10 cars all in a very small, uh, all in a very small space. All with no consistent Paulson line. Off. That is Paulson to the right, to the left. Yeah, coming out of turn four there. We were uh, we were two wide, three rows deep. It's incredible. Contreras has P4 at the minute. Olivier's taking P1. Daniel Wolf P2. Rubber P3. They're in their own little battle. Entirely little battle. It's a big battle for the lead, and they're catching. Actually, this battle is leading. Wolf is on the apron for the lead. Oh, that's a back out of P3. I don't know about that from uh, from Olivier there. He uh, he muscle he got his elbows out deep there. Another one to the to, to the left. That is Trainer Joe. It's like Battle Royale, as someone said earlier. It's literally Battle Royale. Every lap, someone goes, "Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm out. I'm out. I'm going." Fuck this shit. I'm out. <laughs> you know, I just noticed something. Well, I'm on board with uh, Jack Olivier. On the left side of his car, on the fin, is the French flag. On the right side of his car, it's either the Irish or Italian. I 
honestly don't know. But it's it ain't blue. Italian, I would think. It definitely ain't blue. Oh, getting far too close. That is Gutierrez. That's it's one of the Mongols' cars. He's trying to go down. Oh, that is. Um, oh, who is that? Contreras. Contreras, Contreras has gone Contreras. off. Mythic's Spinning involved like as well. Mythic's off as well. Maddie's sending the move up the outside. Oh, this is an over up front. Wolf, Wolf is now losing ground. To, he's got Denoya and uh, Jet on Fire involved as well. There's also a lap car. That's Romanesh in the other Alpha Wolf team racing car. Felinix going around the outside of Maddie Labiak a little farther back. Nice, nice clean two wide. It goes to the apron, does Denoya. Wolf is going to try and take that position. Almost taps them. I'm just wait. I'm just clenching my ass every lap for that for that pileup. It's going to happen. We've had so many big ones in this race. Two by two by two by two by two. It's like Noah's Ark in here. Yes. Oh, and somebody taps the back of Wolf there. Gives him a nice little bump draft. I believe that was Gutierrez. Now, forgive me for asking a stupid question. Is bump drafting a good technique in Indy cars? Absolutely not. It's a terrible Thought idea. So. It, that, that's a stock car thing. It's, it's not an open wheeler thing. At least not these open wheelers. I need F5 for this. I'm going to switch to the battle up front. We've got a bit, a bit further up front. Gutierrez, fully in jet on fire three wide. There it is! Though all those three were involved. There's many people involved in the background. At least two more cars. Um, and safety car. There it is. Fully in uh, Sleepy's return to the pits. On the uh, on the topic of bump drafting, um, these Indy cars, they are a lot more stout than the uh, the F1 cars. Their wings can take a lot more of a beating than an F1 car. Uh, I know in the past few years we we've seen where you can like look at an F1 car funny and its front wing falls off. That's not the case with these Indy cars. You can you can beat on them pretty hard before they die. Jack Olivier has decided to take the pit lane. And sped into it, I might add. <laughs> I he like hit the line so point. fast, I thought somebody spun off the track into the pit lane. Are people going to try and take this pit stop? It's been 25 laps, um, or about 22 laps, in fact, since the last pit lane frenzy. Are we... Uh, it would now be the time to go for that second stop? Or would they risk it for another pit safety car in about eight laps' time? Uh, well, with the frequency of safety cars around this track, if I had the fuel to go 10 more laps, I'm staying out. I and mean, we did go quite long on this one. I think it was about eight laps, I think we went. Right. On this attempt. Uh, <laughs> so it's close to a record, I think. I think as long as we managed yeah. probably 10 or 12. No, 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 uh, no way. Re real racing, I'm I'm taking my pit window here. Because you're probably looking at everybody sitting on between... 10 and 12 laps of fuel, but with the safety cars we've been having, there's no reason to pit if you've got 10 laps of fuel in your car. Yeah. The Indy 500 that I did with Miles last week, we had nine cautions. I think we've already beaten that after a quarter of the distance. Yes. Like, almost certainly. Nine cautions? That's not bad. I think they only had a few less than that in the actual Indy 500 in September of last year. I don't, remember, I don't remember there being that many cautions in, in or, or, or in well, the remember, last yeah, last year. I remember there being two for sure. One of them when the car went reverse entry into the pit wall. Oh yes, I remember that one. That's when it, that, then, that was the end of it, pretty much. That was the end of the and race. And then a, uh, another car earlier in the race caught fire on the exit of turn two. I think I remember that one as well. That was Davison, I think, James Davison. Or Will Davison. One of them. Which that's coming up next weekend, you know, all you I'm race looking, fans. I'm out. looking forward to that. I love to watch the Indy 500 every year. Safety car coming in now. Wolf is already on the back of Denoya, ready to pounce. Now we've got a green. Really good start. That's uh, oh, Sam Matthias Suriano. But also Matty Labeck, who takes fourth, third place. Go on, Matty! Sorry. No bias at all. Absolutely no bias, surely. No bias at all from the River Racing team owner, ladies and gentlemen. Unbelievable. It's unbelievable that 20 laps ago, Matty was P13 and a lap down. Absolutely. He's now P4. Gutierrez is DNF'd. I've just spotted Gutierrez is out of this race. Layback's already with the leaders. Matthias Suriano is also with the leaders, but he's a lap down. 
Labiax move, making the move for P3. He is getting the toe off of Rubber. Let's all be patient now. Rubber's got the apron. That's going to cost Rubber a little bit of speed there, you think? You'd think that, but apparently not. He's managed to maintain pretty much the same gap. Suiano's looking a bit sketchy up near the wall. Maybe I'm going for the double draft on Dinoy and Suiano. Suiano's going to go to the inside. Oh, oh almost it sort of teased that three wide coming into turn three. Which would be a very risky move indeed. Especially if you're just trying to unlap yourself. Oh, he is going to try for it now though. Rubber is dealt with. Dinoya's next for Suriano. And Labiak's just going to hang back here, I think. Just for a little bit. Is the pack closing? Not really. But we, got a, we have a bit of a gap now, I think. We have a bit of a lull, which is good. By a lull, I mean less crashes. A lull in crashes. Labiak's going to go for P2 on rubber. Surely now he's going to take the slipstream off of Matteo Suriano. Stay in that crew. Don't follow him too much because he's almost in the wall there. That is Contreras down low and a lap down. And a free position from Matthew Suriano there. Two by two. This is some very clean driving by these four. This is what I was hoping for in this race. I wasn't expecting a lap car to be involved in that, but, you know, just... This is what we were hoping for, except for 15 rows deep, right? Yeah, patient, <laughs> patience, consistency, as Matthew Labiak takes P2 from Rubber. Whoa! And Matty Suriano puts himself back on the lead lap. Just... It's not going to last long. Well, if he gets it, if we get a, a safety car right about now, that would really help him. Oh, did he have to check up? So did Labiak. I'm looking back now because there's a pack. This is now six for the lead. Yardum just back. Feimster's back. Wolf is back. Feimster going up the outside. Maddie, Maddie's about to lose about three places here. He doesn't watch it. I wouldn't be too worried about losing three places. Jesus. Uh. It's fu I just saw a, a jump there. I'm worried. Okay, we're good. We're I good, noticed it too. I wasn't going to say anything. You know, I wasn't going to jinx it. Oh, Sirian's on the apron. Sirian's on the apron. Take the apron and just back off. Don't risk it. There we go. Okay, all these six are on the lead lap. Let's go racing. Jake Feeps is going to the inside of Andrea De Noia for the lead. Matty around chops, the outside of Yardimger. Chops his nose off to, uh, to Matty on, Labiak, on um, uh, Yardimger. Yes. Feems the back in the lead. Oh, this is far too close to call. Lap 66 of 100. What's the two third? What's the two thirds distance? Trader Joe is out. Oh, maybe I can. All wobbly there. Yarmja was about to take advantage. He backed off. Finally, they've learned the power of patience. Yeah, at this point, I don't think you actually have to do any overtaking. If you just wait, eventually the guy in front of you will crash out. True. Also true. I'm going to switch quickly back to this battle of P7 for Linux versus Jet on Fire. They're just coming onto the back of this, so maybe these guys will catch up and make the battle of the lead. Labiak's all wobbly again. Oh, I shat myself. <sighs> Pooh came out. One more overtake. One more safety car and Rag will overtake Wilson for P22. Uh, let me confirm that for you. Uh, yes, yes, Wilson's on 21 laps and Miles Rag is on 18. We can also, you know, just acknowledge the fact that Rag is already ahead of Garcia and Alberto White. <laughs> oh, Labour's got a <laughs> huge amount of <laughs> overspeed against Rubber driver. and Wolf. Can't make anything of it, though. Wow, we, we have gone uh, 10 laps since the last safety car was deployed. Don't That's about it. eight laps of green flag. Vapor's gone. Race. Vapor's gone. Vapor's off again. And switching back. I'm going to switch to the Yardinger because he's at sort of the back of the pack. In fact, he's going to start to lose ground from this pack in a minute. He needs to stay with them. Yeah, he needs to hop on Maddie's uh, rear wing there if he's got any hope of staying in this. And all these guys have still got to pit once more. All these guys of the top six have done about 30 laps. 
Yardage has only done 27 and he's in. I was not expecting Yardage to take a pit stop that early. He's going to go 30 laps to the end. He's, he's going to hope for really safety car. He's going to be really hurting if a safety car comes out soon because all of the guys in front of him are going to get that pit under safety car. I had a little wobble, nearly took out Daniel Wolf. But this five way battle is perfect. Nothing has gone wrong here. Wait for they it. are coming Wait for up it. Daniel Wolf going three car. wide. He's done Denoyer. He's going to get the outside of Feimster. No, he's not. Great he's going to take that outside lane, though. Great overtake. They're, they're coming up on lap traffic, though, so they're going to have to dispatch these cars. If Who they, is that uh, lap traffic? That is, that's Lucas Weber. And ahead of that is Fonseca. Labiak is in a bit of a difficult position. He can't really pick a lane. Inside or outside makes no real difference, but he has to pick one and think, okay, which one's the most advantageous to me? Oh, Rubber's had a bit of... had to ease off, I think. Just briefly. Behind that, there's the, the sort of the peloton. Oh, Wolf had to back out a little bit, almost had to... almost took out Rubber. It's just so such fine margins between all five of these drivers. It's amazing to see. But I bet you they're all shitting themselves. Well and truly. This is the time for the layback to pull and get past rubber. He does so. No one trying any three wide moves now, which is... Uh, sure, it's good. For racing, not so much for the stream. I want to see crashes, but, you know, not with my, not with my, 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 my own drivers. That is why people watch oval racing, the, the big one. Yes. It's also why people don't live in San Francisco, the big one. <sighs> yes. Earth making all sorts of weird sounds now. Earthquakes are why people are leaving the, the city of San Francisco. Let's not get into politics. I didn't say anything. <clears throat> Labiax trying to get through. He gets an upsized sort of P3 on one occasion and just sort of goes, okay, that's not going to work and sort of backs out and stays in the pack. He's sort of maybe sizing up his options later in the race. I think he, for, from here, he's probably sitting there, you know, he, he knows he can overtake coming out of the last turn and uh, getting on the podium puts him into a good spot, whereas if he overtakes early, the, the person he overtakes can immediately turn around and, and do it to him. Denoyer moves to the back of the pack. Wolf's going for the lead. Yeah, he's got much more speed than five, so it looks like out around the outside. Going up high through turn four. Lay back into the pits now, taking a green flag pit stop. And Denoyer. Oh, Denoyer's in as well. Okay. Oh, Denoyer. And Maddie spins in the pit entry. Denoya almost misses the pit all together, goes across the grass, and has to duck inside the wall at the last second. Oh, man. Those pit stops are going to hurt both of these drivers. Maddie, Maddie worse, he spun out, completely stopped behind the safety car on the pit entry. We still have ourselves a three way battle, though. And hopefully, uh, Labiak and Denoya can come back, can recover from that. A couple of safety cars might help with that. But if they go a lap down. Are any of these going to take the pit stop? No. These guys have gone 36 laps. In fact, Rubber's gone 38 laps um, without pitting. They need to pit soon, surely. But how have they got enough fuel for this? There's Denoyer. He's going he's to go a lap down. Lay back to lap down as well. He's just behind Denoyer. This is very helpful to them because it gives them as much opportunity as possible for a caution. That means they can pit under caution. Wolf and Rubber go for the pits. Let's watch the race off pit lane then. Rubber, yeah, both having to properly lock up to try and avoid getting the penalty. And Feimster stays out by himself. Got all the clean air and space around him. He will surely be pitting this lap. There's no way he's got much more fuel. Rubber is going to jump Gecha out of the... That's not Gecha. Uh, not, Gecha's not the one we're racing. Wolf is. Wolf is down the end there. And he's moving now. It's going to be really close between these two. Oh, they're going to be nose to tail coming out of the pits. 
who's going to get the faster run. Rob has got a faster run so far. He's going to go down the inside of Daniel Wolf on the pit exit. There's only Jake one. On. There's only pit room for one. Now. There's only room for one. Rob has got Jake, it. Jake is on pit entry coming in right on the speed limit. Textbook pit, pit stop entry. Perfect. Rob is going a lot more aggressive on that pit exit than Daniel Wolf is. And he's come out right around Lucas Weber and Mario Fonseca. So they have come out ahead of Labiak and ahead of Yardimja and Denoya. The question is, Feimster, if Feimster's going to come out of the pits now, can he come right out now, ahead out of, the of pit Rubber? Now. It's got to be Rubber's position then, surely. You can see Feimster just up ahead coming through to turn two. He's not going to be up to speed coming to pit exit. See Rubber up there coming up behind the lap traffic. I think Feimster's still got the position. Oh, it's, it is going to be mighty close. Feimster's is on the left of your picture, as you see there. He's got the position. Rubber's not going to get him before the corner. Rubber's going to try it, though, surely. He's going to go the high line. Move made. Rubber will take the net race lead. Is it at all possible? Roshek's gone. You know, I, I, what I liked about this was we had this nice pack at the at the front and nobody got caught out by an untimely safety car to ruin their race so we're going to have this race settled on the track you'd think that Fe uh, Feimster's going to the outside of Rubber and retakes that position it's P5 at the minute uh, there are people that are yet to pit including uh, let's see Mythic's 24 laps from a pit stop uh, yeah Fellini's Jet on Fire Jack Olivier and by Mythic are all on the same sort of strategy they've been out of the pits for 20 to 25 laps. So we'll expect them to go for a splash and dash 10 laps and hope for a late safety car. Unless they can fuel save. If they can fuel save, this turns this whole thing on its head. Jack Olivier just hit the inside wall coming out of turn four. That is odd. He spun off pretty good. He did not go into the pits after that collision. He came back across the track. Rubber will retake P5. These guys are a long way back from P4 by Mythic. About eight seconds. I think I just saw someone hit the wall. That might have been Sleepy. Um, just based on the driver tracker. He is... Yeah, he's a little bit slow. It might actually... Oh, uh, no, it might have been uh, Adam Roshik as well in the other, in the other uh, HPA car. But this is the battle for the lead at the minute. Fulinix versus Jet on Fire. Whether this is the net lead is remains to be seen depends on strategy they've still got to go another 20 laps and they've gone 25 so far on these set of tires and this fuel stint Felinix makes a bit of a mistake there on the exit of four absolutely dips the car onto the apron just briefly these, these two don't look as confident in, at the front Compared Amazingly to the top enough, five. Amazingly enough, the dipping the car on the apron around this track is not causing them to have nearly as big of a problem as I expected to see. It is it, it is sometimes, but yeah, a lot. It, it's causing fewer problems than I expected. This is lap 82. Phoenix takes the pit lane, so he will lose the lead. There's no way he made the pit. He's, there's no way he made pit speed limit there. In fact, he bounced off the pit wall because he locked up the brakes so bad. <laughs> so, uh, Jet on Fire takes the lead of this race. Olivier will take second, and Feimster should take third. Mythic's in the pits as well. He's going to come out behind... Uh, he's going to come out in 10th place ahead of Lucas that, Weber. That was a very short pit stop for Felinix. He well, was he's only going to be a splash and dash. He's only going to do 17 laps. It's sort of about... He, what, he was only stopped for maybe three seconds. That's a very, that is a very short pistol, actually. Maybe he didn't stop for tyres. Maybe he only did fuel. No, there's no, there's no way he did tyres. Not not a chance. Yeah, no. Fuel will last... Uh, sorry, uh, tyres will last a lot longer than fuel will. You can do 40 laps easy. We've seen it being done in this race today, doing 40 laps on one set of tyres. It's a great battle. P8, Labiak and Yaranja. 
and just yeah, just keep changing positions back and forth, back and forth. The winner of this race is still yet to be decided. We do not know who is going to be leading this race. We're still expecting Jet and Olivier to pit. Um, but it's not out of the question. They will not. Lucas Faber now going a lap down. I do have to laugh that on the side of Yardinger's car is a sponsorship for Turknet, as if Turkish fiber is not a meme in this community. You know what? I think I... Whoa! Suriano had a huge moment there. He keeps it going and avoids a huge pileup that would have changed the face of this race, considering P3 and P4 are right with him. Well, not anymore. He's dropped back, but, you know. Uh, I think I also noticed on the side of Yardinger's car a uh, sponsorship for Fan... Yes, a sponsorship for Fanatec. Uh, a reminder, he has a 1997 Microsoft plastic ring. By Mythic's off, by Mythic's off, he's gone way off on the exit of turn, th turn two. Denoyer. Oh, almost a bad redraw from By Mythic there. Denoyer takes You know P7. what? On the, uh, on the right side pod where it says Fanatec, it actually says Microsoft. Those sponsors on the left side pod might be for his teammate, Lucas Weber. <laughs> does he have a Fanatec? I don't, I don't think he did. He does. He's got a, a CSL, I believe. And Club Sport D3s. I'm the Thrustmaster now, myself. So I'm guessing the tag teaming from Ali and Matty has managed to managed to allow them to catch Andrea De Noia because he was on his own, uh, but not anymore. So this is now a battle for P7. You see him topping out. Rubber started to lose ground on Jake Feimster, and that is De Noia who is scraping the wall. He's currently wall riding. Uh, certainly. Oh, no! Whoa! Almost takes out Contreras! His own teammate! Jet How did that survive? Still has yet to pit and is on the entry of the back straight as P3 is going into turn three. That is surprising. Yes, this is lap 88 of 100. Jet on fire has gone 31 laps without a pit stop. Same for Jack Olivier. No, Jack Olivier, I thought, pitted. Uh, no, according to this, it's been, yeah, 30 laps since Jack Olivier pitted, oh. 31 for Jet on Fire, according to live timings. Okay, I, think. I could have sworn he pitted, but... Jet on Fire, however, is doing... Yeah, okay, 37 sixes. He's on his own, so the, uh, is it still possible for him to win this race? Can he make it to the end, do you think? 42 uh, he's laps. got to do another 42 laps on a tank of fuel. If he was, if he was topped off, fresh tires, th maybe... He's be, he, he'll be doing some fuel saving. Let's switch to the battle for P3. It is Feimster and Rubber. Feimster has managed to pull away from Rubber, but he, Feimster's stuck in a little bit of lap traffic. You can see uh, just behind, you've got Sleepy and Lucas Weber, who's trying to stay on the lead lap. That is uh, Andrea De Noia, who has gone off. Jet on fire is in. Jet on fire is in. Rubber had another lapped car in front of him before he could get to there so Olivier's in as well this is now the battle for the lead Jake Feimster oh we got a car off track that's Mario Fonseca has he come together with anyone I don't think he has I'm not seeing anybody slowing down so I think we're good Jake Feimster now leads this race Rubber is second Jet on Fire has rejoined he might come out in about he's going to come out in fourth place I think Uh, he's going to come out around where Daniel Wolf is. In fact, Jet, I think Jet hit the wall. Jet hit the wall. Coming out of the pit lane. Looks like Matty Suriano's having a little battle with that other lap traffic. They got pushed down to the apron there. Two look like they're trying to cause the final safety car of the day. Rubber, three tenths faster than Feimster. On that lap, he is starting to close. Finds something to deal with Lucas Weber, which is slowing him down significantly. Oh, Finds to closing the door for Rubber up ahead, you can see. Oh, well, he's sleepy as well, so Rubber's got his own problems. So at the minute, Jake Feinster is going to win this race. His first win in AF1 since. Uh, I think it was AF1 Spy. Might have won another race in the in that season. 
I need to check that actually. I need to check. I think he won two or three races the season of the uh, Formula Electric car. I thought, yeah, I thought he won two races as well. Uh, no, he just won. He just won Belgium. He just won the the AF1 Spa race. The race we weren't supposed to do. The race we should. The, the race we used to not talk about, but now we can because um, it happened in real life. Formula E raced at Spa. No, uh, Valencia and um, chaos because battery issues. Everybody ran out of en everybody ran out of energy, just like they did in the AF1 race at Spa. What? We are into the last eight laps of this race, and Jake Fams is starting to pull away. Matty Labiak is not giving up on P5, uh, but even Ali Yardinger. It's the only side by side battle we battling we've got at the minute. But we'll, we'll let you know if something comes up. Fives is making full of taking full advantage of Lucas Weber's slipstream. Yeah, you know, I think he's definitely content working with Lucas and staying away from that other lap traffic than uh, trying to fight Lucas and losing time all that. Yeah, you take the advantage of the slipstream and you don't question it. Although this doesn't look like a lot of slipstream. This isn't helping. Is Rubber getting the same problems? No, he's got Sleepy. Sleepy's out of the way, but he has got Crab Paulson just up ahead. Never mind, that's gone. Chances are running out for Rubber 9 to try and catch Jake Feimster and revitalise his championship hopes. He is in with a shot at this. If he can pull it together. Crab Paulson pitting is not going to help him and leaving him out there dry with nothing to break the air in front of him. Actually, has he got a championship hope? I don't think he has. Olivia is going to finish P8 at the minute, uh, which will be his drop race now. He's going to stay on 86. Felinix has got a P3, so he is going to take uh, 16 points. So that'll be 76. So 10 points in it there. Joao Guerra is P11, so yeah. He's going to stay on 52 points. Or he, if, this were the la if the drop race were to be counted now, it would be 52. Yeah, other than that, I don't think anyone else is in this. Ericsson's only going to take 20 points, and he'll be, so he'll be on 57. He'll be in there, but not enough. Anything can happen at Indy. Anything can happen at Indy. Anything can still happen in the last five laps of this race. If Jake Fimes has yeah. still got Lucas Weber around him. Anything can happen. For all we know, Lowy will join the server and win the race. Uh, let's see, what's Lowy's best now? Two tenths of a second. Yeah, could do. Still possible. That 97 of 100. Ooh, Lucas is having some internet issues. Don't do that now. Don't knock out the leader. Ooh. Some late drama. Could I bestow sure hope, itself upon this race. I sure hope Jake saw that Lucas jumped around there. Yeah, I'd be sort of backing off. Take the battle with rubber and just don't... Yeah, take the points, basically. Because if Lucas starts jumping around again, that could be Feimster out of the win. We are on lap 98 of 103 to go here at Daytona. The battle for fifth is now the battle for fourth. Daniel Wolf has been caught by Ali Yardinger and Matty Labiak. Oh, not so much Labiak, but. Almost, almost, happens. but there's a bit of weaving going on. That, yeah, there's a bit of slipstream as well. Who do you got for driver of the day? Um, let's see. Fimes has been up there all race. I'm going to go with oh, Daniel Wolf, I think. I, I, I'm going to agree with uh, not backer and say Miles Rag is the driver of the day. <laughs> well, he didn't end up passing uh, Jake Wilson. 20 seconds. He didn't end up passing Jake Wilson yet. <laughs> well, there's not enough laps. There's not enough laps on lap 99 oh, of 100. Oh. In fact, as I say, that the Jake Feimster, the leader of this race, is now starting the final lap of this race. White flag for Jake Feimster towards his second AF1 win. 
This will be close though for P4. Ali Yardinger and Daniel Wolf. Labiak's right there behind them. Never mind. He's not. <laughs> All to play for for this for this position though. P4. Oh, Daniel Wolf had to back out of it. Fives is going around the final course. We'll switch to him. Jake Feimster wins the Daytona 250. His second win in AF1. Rubber 9 takes home P2. Felinix will come home P3. And bring himself in prime position for the title. Yardam just off. Yardam just crashed. Daniel Wolf will take home P4. Labiak fifth. Yardam just got to get going pretty quickly. Oh, Jet sixth. Olivier seventh. It will be Yardinger 8th because Weber's already finished P9. Yardinger from P4 to P8. We missed that final crash. All of 50 meters before the strike. Everyone's already finished. Everyone's done. That's that's awful for for Ali there. I feel for him. Big points for Poor Energy Racing down the drain at the last second. 8th and ninth for them. I mean, they only had... Uh, where are they? they only had three points to their name beforehand anyway. Jake Feimster is doing some epic donuts on the infield grass at Daytona as is tradition here. Might wanna. Yeah. Hang on in there. there we go. Robert's, Robert's doing some donuts as well. Phoenix. Yeah, yeah. It's gotta be it's all about Jake Feimster. He's got the best donuts right now. Well, we got a bit of safety cars. We got we got a few safety cars, and we also got quite a lot. We, we got quite a lot of racing in the end. I'm surprised yeah, we ended up getting that long safety car period at the end. Uh, that long we, racing at the yeah. end. Yeah, spent about half the race under safety car. About half the race not under safety car. We spent a fifth of the race under safety car, pretty much. Eighteen laps. So I'm guessing that means we had eight cautions. Yeah, eight cautions, and the formation lap. So all times two, yeah, eight. So eight, eight cautions. Not bad. Yeah. So with the championship standings, I'm not going to do it with drop scores because that's annoying and confusing. Um, but Jack Olivier taking seventh place, that is nine points in the bag, which moves him to ninety-five points. Felinix took home P3, so he will get uh, sixteen points to move him on to seventy-six. So ninety-five. Plays 76 with one round to go. Which means a 19 point gap. But there are uh, drop scores to be included. For Linux does not drop any scores. Jack Olivier will drop this race at the minute. An 8th place. So and, it's still one to play for. Since he decided to join our our lovely stream chat. We can do a little interview with, with Ali Yardinger here. What happened there on the last corner? Uh, Daniel was weaving for some reason i kept on my line and then he he said he was trying to draft me and then he just you know took me out oh Heart, it, it was a heartbreak we were expecting to finish p4 there and you ended up finishing uh finishing eighth i was yeah. looking forward to a photo finish and we didn't get it in the end yeah i got uh i got crashed into four times um three of them were people like other people crashing and then me just getting caught up in it the other one was just straight up getting crashed into. So yeah, I do believe you and your uh, your teammate Lucas Weber pulled a um, Ferrari yeah, in won. Austria 2020, where you guys just decided you didn't want to be teammates anymore. What? You guys crashed into each other. When? No, they didn't crash into each other. I think uh, just got, they got collected by something that one of them caused. Oh, that's right. Lucas caused an incident that you got collected by. Oh. Now I'm Wait, seeing in no, no, no. I'm That's seeing sleepy. there'll be a few investigations on safety car restarts. Yeah, sleepy being a prime one. Apparently, half the field overtaking and some people are lapping themselves, which is probably what we should do, but not yeah. what we said. How we'd are do. you seeing that all? Over? Oh, <laughs> never they mind. They haven't been reported, but they've been. Uh, never uh, mind. I don't know if he gave the position. Uh, we'll, we'll, we will for sure up. have to be looking at pit stop entry speeds too, because I saw several people just. YOLO it into the pit lane. But you know what? If it saves you five seconds or more than five seconds, it's totally worth YOLOing it into the pit lane. Oh, is it? 
Yeah, it was like a stepped penalty. I don't I don't remember the exact things we ended up with, but it was like a stepped penalty, depending on uh, okay. speed or something like that. I don't remember. We have it written down somewhere. Oh, man, that, that was fun, frustrating, same time. I don't know. That was weird. It was just weird. Should we, uh, should we grab Jake, uh, our race winner, Jake Feimster? Yeah, yeah. We gotta grab him in. Yeah, Feimster in here. Also, did you see when Matty bump drafted me and I overtook Wolf because of it? Bump drafting is not a strategy in IndyCar. Well, it's a strategy in stock car, quick claim. He, he didn't mean to, but he did just bump draft and it worked somehow. I mean, I went on the grass and I kept the straight, didn't crash somehow. And then the extra speed I got was enough to overtake Wolf on the outside. So that worked. That was fucking amazing. Uh, let me get an X in chat to doubt. Jake, Jake. Feimster. Hello. You have a habit of winning chaotic races. Uh, AF1 Spa and now the Daytona 250. Uh, well, yeah, I had a plan. I just had to stick with it. So, yeah, trying to make it two stops and ended up there's enough safety cars that it didn't matter how many stops you wanted to do. So uh, you did look like a man with a plan the entire time out there. Just going. I when I got to the back and got wrecked by Sleepy, I was like, oh, I I had already been thinking. I don't know if that was a good idea because I was getting slowed up by those guys. But uh, well, I figured, well, I'll just stay with it. And then when I got wrecked by Sleepy, I realized I could stay on the lead lap. I was like, all right, this will be okay. We'll we'll work through it. Early on in the race, you had a, the, you were you, throughout the race. You were always at towards the top of the field, uh, but a lot of the leaders. Or well, that sort of lead pack ended up sort of shitting themselves and dying. How how on earth did you manage to stay, you know, on the track facing the right direction? Yeah, I had at least two big dodges there. Um, one of them in particular, I went down the apron and lifted and somehow made it through. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to have to check the replay on those because, to be honest, I'm not sure. It's a, Every time it's kind of by the seat of your pants, you just sort of guess and, and go that way. Yep, yep. It's such an exciting race, um, and congratulations it's on fun. winning it. Late on in that race, you had a lot of a uh, a lot of um, battling with Lucas Weber. Yeah, it turns out I was helping him save fuel. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, he was. Uh, we were trying to work together and and get me some distance over rubber just to be sure. I uh, I figured since he was you know his race was already ruined, he could, he'd make a deal with the devil, and then he did. So uh, good for him. Uh, we wasn't very effective. We didn't go much faster, but apparently I helped him save some fuel, so that's always good. Yeah. He managed to stay ahead. We managed to keep the gap to Rubber. I was kind of expecting Rubber to close up towards the end if you were battling uh, with Lucas, who is coincidentally here. Hello, Lucas. He had like less than a lap by the end, right, Lucas? I'll take in. Say again? Couldn't hear you? If uh, Jake hadn't helped me in the last few laps with the uh, slipstream, I would have ran out of fuel again. Ah. Whew. bit of squeaky bum time then um <laughs> you had such an, a, a great race a, a great race at the start uh lucas but tell me about where it all went wrong i don't know what lap it was i think like 30 or something I think uh, it was earlier than that got i think i was running p3 or something so somebody made it three wide into turn one i wanted to back out because i was on the outside and i thought if i wouldn't lift i would uh, hit the wall so I lift a little bit and then get punted, get spun around, lose many positions, and from there it just all went downhill. I then crashed like two uh, two more times and ran out of fuel once, so no chance. Well, Lucas, uh, you you and your your teammate in Poor Energy looked very good in both this race at the start and the uh, first attempt at this race at the beginning of the season. What do you think Poor Energy's chances are in Indianapolis in two weeks? all depends on the setup if yeah. we can if we can get a setup like uh, we had today then we probably have chances again otherwise we will just have to see and uh, well, the, uh, J jake do you think you uh, you think you're on for a double there at indy uh i don't know i haven't seen the indy we're running yet i'm not sure uh i've certainly i mean i'm fast on super speedways that's true without a doubt but uh, you know, I haven't done my homework yet, so we will have to see. Another good question about Indy is those turns take a little more speed out of you. You're not going to be going quite as fast. So does that mean we're not going to be able to do the two-stop? So it's pretty tricky. Well, we'll see. We'll see how that ends up. But uh, I'm just worried that, uh, you know, when 
you actually have to do things at Indy, so I'm just worried that there will be even more crashes. Yeah. Well, how many cautions were there in the first Indy 250 last September? It was a lot, wasn't it? I mean, to be fair, three of them were because it, of the service it, it was but... fine. It was it, it was less than today. I think we had I eight know. today. Yeah, I think we had less safety cars in the in the two fifty. So we had at least three because the server. I was a safety car driver for that actually. All um, I know is that I teleported to pits three times. The server, the server died three times, as well. You know, coming up for the Indy, I believe we got a kind of a, a wild card in there because I believe we had more reserve spots specifically for the Indy. I think that was announced at the beginning of the season. We do eight indeed. I think eight. we're going to up the number to forty. I thought um, it was plus eight. I, I, we had 40 open, so 32 main drivers for the season, plus 8 extra. We had 30, but sure. So we'll probably get about 30 for Indy. Cool thing is, I, I wore a heart rate monitor for that stream and put the number on my uh, on my broadcast, so we'll have that to... <laughs> That's cool. Oh, what, was your, uh, what was your peak heart rate in that? Can, do you have that information? Uh, that looks like it was 150. 150. Pretty good. Pretty up oh, there. 150 sitting down. 150 sitting down, yeah. <laughs> That's still fine. That's still not too bad. Uh, your cardiologist called. He'd like you to schedule an appointment. Well, my min's 65, and I haven't, you know, I've been a little excited the whole time, so I think I'm doing all right. There was that one time I had a 195 heart rate, and I was, I didn't even know if the, that was high or not until the teacher saw it. You're like 16 that years old. Great. You shouldn't have a 195 heart rate ever. Yep. I was trying to run at 20 kilometers an hour on a treadmill without stopping. It was not a good idea, and that was the cause. That was like the result. Yes. Moving on. Moving on. Um, Robert Nine requested an interview. If we have time for him. Yeah, let's bring him in. I've got. A, let's, let's go about five minutes left. Let's bring in Robert Nine. Love dig. Robert, welcome to the stream. Love uh, dig. How do you, you, how, do you uh, how do you feel about your your quality of race today? Um, so much things happened, so I really don't remember all, but um, very eventful at like lap 5 or something, I was very close to being last, and uh, then I made up for it with uh, strategy, and I ended up at P2. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah that that's pretty much sums it up well enough. Yeah, well, um, we asked the... Uh... We asked Jake and the poor energy guys here how they felt about Indian two weeks. How do you feel about India? Have you been practicing for it? You got a setup ready to go for it or a lot of work to do ahead of you? Um, I've got a few setups ready, yeah. A few? Okay, that's going to be interesting. Few. We'll see how the actual, the Indian we're going to use uh, fits with those, strat with those setups. Because they could all be completely different. And uh, apparently we have the uh, the pride of River Racing AF1 here, Maddie Labiak. How do you feel about your race today? Uh, I feel I feel pretty good about it. Like I went into this not really expecting much. Uh, Biometric Shadow set up with me, and I just rolled with that. Made some minor changes. Started P9, got caught up in a massive incident at some point, and but from then on, only some minor scrapes and bumps. But I somehow made it to P5. You're gonna get P4, don't worry. Gonna get? Oh, am I now? Oh well, that's that's oh, yeah. great. Penalties. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. The the, cool. the 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 accusations of of procedural things of safety car restarts and pit lane entry speeds has already stuff. has already flown out. So uh, we yeah. we will see how things play out. One thing I will say is um, teamwork makes the dream work as me and Polly like figured out like literally because me and him like slipstreamed together we were able to catch uh, Daniel Wolf and make our way past some other people so I think that's like something I've learned from this round that I'm going to take to Indy so when, when yeah. We were, when we first pretty much just met up we were 10th and 11th and then at the end it was 4 it would have been 4 and 6th and then you know the thing happened death so, uh Demise. But yeah, but a good, yeah, decent result for River Racing, fifth and tenth. Um, Absolutely. but yeah, looking forward to Indy. Now that was actually exhilarating. I don't mean I don't know about anyone else, but that was really good fun. Oh, yeah. I hope it was fun to watch as well. I'm glad we got that period at the end of uh, of racing, like actual um, racing, rather than just going in and out of safety car periods. It finally happened. There was the calm after the storm. No, mum, I don't want cheese. 
<laughs> that is immortalized in the broadcast. That, somebody I'm won. Sorry. Somebody, somebody clipped and, that and put it in the best clip. Yep, 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 well, on that yep, bombshell, yep. I think that's where we'll leave it. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Watch back the screen. You'll see how completely um, unexpected that was. Perfect. What do you know, man? I got to answer it quickly, you know. <laughs> Perfect. Clearly I not think we'll leave it there. Um, that's it for this week. We've got the steward stream tomorrow. That's at six PM UTC. Other than that, next week is next week is German week. We're at the Saxon Ring for AF three on Saturday on Friday, and then for AF four on Saturday. So be sure to join us for that. Otherwise, that's it from us. Thank you very much. I'll have Matty's cheese. Thank you very much. Um, good night, everybody. <laughs> good night, everybody. <laughs>